she's really into farts too. Yeah, sla- yeah. dudes who slam the dudes who slam the fart who uh who that's who, not a feather fetish. Yeah, who, yeah. Who, who speak in like a like a mixture of Quebecois and and uh, English. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Very fast. I, mean, I just know all really of, know. I I know all the I know all of it. You really know the technician's taste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, technicians are free. She likes to be, um, she likes to be bonded, gagged. She likes to be spat on. She likes to be choked. She likes to be kicked. She likes to be, um, in a nice way. She likes to be, uh, I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah. What? Cool. Oh, she also likes is into robots. That's why she has a robot fuck buddy. Um, she's into like BDSM nuns, and that's probably why I have that outfit. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. Cool. Oh, she also likes pegging, and she likes to um, what else? She oh right, she likes to make little like she makes she likes to make little men her bitches. But she's also a switch. That was oddly That's specific. Awesome. That was mm. okay. Yeah. This is terrifying. Why? Why? This is a lot to handle. Oh, there's more. Hold on. I, I keep I keep I keep forgetting. Oh, there's more. Go more. ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's more. Um, she definitely into step bro step sis stuff. She likes. Uh, she likes desserts okay she likes eating desserts off of you know yeah and and then she also likes to um is that is that it um i'm trying to think oh she's into sock puppets what the fuck is that like just regular how do you how does sock puppets fit into this use your imagination bro I don't want to. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's okay. Well, you asked. You this is asked. terrifying. What you asked? You're you're live right now. <laughs> oh, there's no one watching. It's fine. You're streaming. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. There's no one watching. Yeah. Oh come on! That's obviously a meme. Obviously, she's not into all those things. Yeah. No. Totally. Only in a video game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else was the question? Oh, you were asking about farts. Oh. Ask if so technician I have this fart scooter. simulator. You have a fart simulator. Um. Am I gonna be able to hear it if you do it? Uh. No. But I mean, I can like mouth it out for you. Do it. <gasps> you. Okay. Well, I mean, so I have this fart simulator, right? Where like, if chat gives me like. Uh, like there's a, there's a certain amount of bits, right? And then there's three different stages of fart simulation. Okay, one is they can create a fart bubble, and that game is like you have to try to make the fart bubble as big as possible without it popping. Mm-hmm. And then and then there's another one called the propulsion fart, and that one is basically how however you however you, many bits you donate, it will go into the propulsion of the fart. Thank you for and the good so times like, and last so chat. Like, yeah, YouTube. The velocity of the pro- propulsion will be um, great greater the more bits you throw, and then at some point she goes out into space if you throw enough. Me, me, she, me, meaning me. And then there's another one where if you make me fart enough, I explode and um, become this Subbed fart free with ghost. Twitch Prime and then the, with the fart ghost, whenever I fart, it basically starts growing and growing and growing until I pop. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's my fart simulator. Yeah, my mom heard all that. I mean, I mean, farts are wholesome. Yeah. No, I she heard the other stuff too. Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> no, she You're didn't. Not, how are you hearing me, by the way? You don't have headphones. How are you hearing me? Well, I have headphones on. No, you don't. I don't I, see I it. Ear- I have invisible textured oh, headphones. Me too. Yeah. No, I'm dead serious. How are I've been trying to figure this out this entire stream. Tell Magic. me. No, tell me how am I really on speaker? Yeah. Then how am then how is 
Okay. Cool. My voice not going through the microphone at all. Magic. Shit. Who gave you that Trump post, Trump cardboard thing? Uh, the Trump cutout? I don't know. It, it came in the PO box. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, I really need to get this P.O. Box thing because, like, every streamer has a P.O. Box. And, like, you guys just get free gifts all the time. It, it It's good, but it's... Uh, I don't know. Have you gotten some bad shit in there? No, it's not bad. It, most of the people that send me stuff are, are sending, like, funny things or, or you know, uh, heartfelt gifts, things like that. But... um. It, it, there's just like too many there's just like too many shirts for example it gets a little wasteful i feel like girlfriend applications w. that's true that's another thing but oh wait do people actually send you those um sometimes can i wait what is what this okay so i actually got this question from other streamers like what is the what do you look for in in your girlfriend application i don't know what what do you mean what do you look for in your girlfriend application? Why are you asking? Curiosity? Okay. Um, no, there is no, there is no like girlfriend application. It doesn't work. Like it's not going to, I'm not going to pursue anyone from a, a PO do box. Want, do you need, do, does anyone send you actual, actual nudes over PO box? Not over PO box. No. But Wait, over do, social media. Yes. Wait, do random girls send you nudes? Wait, really? Yeah. That's surprising. Why would they do that? Why is that surprising? Um, I mean... I mean... I mean... You... I mean, you... You are... You are physically attractive. Maybe, maybe they like my personality, too. Uh, yeah, you're kind of reaching there, but you know, uh, Mr. Huss, I mean, you're a little bit, you're a little proportion kind of funny, but I mean, it's love you. For how many loose do you get per Thank day? Thank you for everything. I don't know. This I don't count it. Wall, but oh well. Wait, do you Much really get that boy. many per day? Some. Okay. Don't Big pics? Food. No, luckily, no. Hmm. Are these okay? Hmm. Okay. Do you have a Snapchat? I do. Why? Are you gonna send me lewds? No. <laughs> Why are you asking then? Because I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah, I do. I have a Snapchat. Requirement number one bank. Please okay, do not send me why? dick pics. I will block why? you. Why? Do you want me to? Do you? Do you want me to send you dick pics? No. Do you want me to send you loots? Maybe. You're, really? You really like video game character girl loots? I mean, I wouldn't say no to it. Oh my god. You are such a coomer. I, I, I want to I wanna see how uh, the technician has coded you. She actually got rid of my nipples. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Why? She got, she, I used to have nipples. Oh, I, I know why. Have, why? Is TOS. Yeah, I mean, I used to have nipples. I used to have like a vagina and an asshole. Dude, wait, did I? Do you know about the story about my double penetration um game? What? Right. So, um, back back in the day, okay, back in Nico 1.0, back way 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 back when my project was getting started, right? Um. Technician was building me, and uh, the, this whole setup cost her around like twenty to thirty thousand dollars, right? So she was like twenty to thirty thousand dollars in debt. And um, around this time was when uh, Project so Project Melody just popped up out of nowhere, right? And she was making like bank on Chatterbait, like she was on Chatterbait, blowing up on Chatterbait. And um, Technician was like twenty to thirty thousand dollars in debt. This is more and advanced than that, though, right? What was that? I think this is more advanced than that, though. Than Project Melody? Yeah, yeah. And it's about to get more advanced. So, um, so she was 
it's read like um Posy Melody's tweets sometimes, and she you know Posy Melody would tweet like, oh I can't have a functional vagina because it'll just take too long to you know make, or I can't do certain things because it'll take a long time to code. And then you know technician got a little bit like competitive, okay, very very competitive, and so she decided to make a double penetrating interactive game for Chatterbait where I basically would have two dicks and it would, um, you can control the speed and the, well, you can control the speed of the pump and it would have like an orgasm meter. And um, anyway, so you, you get the idea. But that was, that was a long time ago. That was like a while ago. Cool. Yeah, it was an interactive game where like chat could actually like donate to have like the to for it to pump in and out, but then the speed. Wait, but that's connected. That. Wait, hold on. But the technician is mom. Come pick me up. This is is a human leave. being that that uses. A, a, a tr uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> wow, wait, what? I don't get it. I don't get it. What? 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 Never mind. Nothing. No. 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 Tell me. No. Tell me what. No. 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 It's fine. It's fine. This is this is good. I'm learning the the lore behind yeah. uh, Code Miko. That's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's... I mean, I don't have it anymore. Like, I don't have um, I don't have like, you know, full on setup and full of rig anymore. But I used to have a fully rigged vagina. In a buffalo. Wait. Okay. How did yeah. that work? What like, it, it's connected to something. Ago. What was it? Was it connected to a technician, like a human being? Okay, that's what I was asking. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. No, it's, it's all Ask like... For the link. No, it doesn't actually go into the person that's... Y yeah, I, I got yeah. it. That's what I was, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What I was confused by. Yeah, it's imaginary. I mean, what do you... Would you like if... I mean, I'm... Technician's going to make a 3D scan of you. I mean, do you want to rig like that? Could be a lot of money, bro. Two months, baby. Sure. Hassle. I mean, I'll, <laughs> why not? I don't care about the money part of it. I think it's cool. Wait, really? I don't know what what. I think we are are speaking about uh, different things, though. Almost one year. Holy okay, food. wait. What are you thinking about? What are you speaking about? Um, how does that? How does this work? I don't understand. Like you're gonna you're gonna code me, or technician's gonna code me into a video game as a video game character. And that video game character will be able to do certain things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. That sounds that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. My son, I am on my and way. Then Don't if, worry. You, have you ever dreamed about being inside like a hentai game? No, not until now. Yeah, now you can make those dreams come true. Okay, that sounds fucking awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is great. So, that is great. Mr. Hassan, who, can I ask you, okay, who the hell is Jamona? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I keep getting, what? I keep getting this spam. Uh, Jimona is a, is a community member uh, that made the famous subreddit, OK Buddy Hassan. Oh, right! Yeah, I wanted to go there. Yeah, that's like, that's basically the, uh, where most of these memes come from place right uh he also once was a vip a what, former why, former why vip that, why, why wait why isn't my internet working oh there we go what happened why did he not become wait what happened to what's he what's this he's no longer he's no longer a, a vip what is that i don't know what they're what what's on there today so it could be terrible what is that Dangerous far left. <laughs> Was that really on Fox News? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is this this is a cute costume? What is that? Why are you wearing why are you a furry? No. I am not. But I was wearing a monkey suit there that someone sent me for Halloween. Hassan. So my drawer, my mod was looking at your pictures and he's kind of, he's got funny taste. Okay. And, um, oh yeah, this was actually really, 
I, Perfect time for a recent pogo. Like Shit, I forgot to post the Instagram photo with my merch from today. You are just reminded me. I'm going to do it right now. This one. Live stream post. Yeah. That is so cute. Oh, thank that's you. That's adorable. Yeah. That's the a one bear? in the dress. Did you like that one? The This one? Yep. I mean, your boobs are kind of small. Oh, don't don't tit shame me. They're still I'm nice. I'm sorry, but you know they're kind of. <sighs> your pecs are okay. I think they could be a little bit bigger, but have you seen Yasuo's pecs? Yasuo's? Yeah. Um, no. W w show me. Sorry, I'm literally. I forgot to. I forgot to post the Instagram photo today of me wearing the new merch. Yeah. And I'm doing it right now. That's why I was. You mean Nesua or Yasuo? Oh, sorry, Nesua. Oh, because Yasuo, I'm like, I, I know, I know Yasuo or Nesua. Mo, and he Nesua. does not have big pegs. Nesua. Where, where the, wait, where is this? Okay, this is Nesua. Uh huh. Go on. That's some solid pecs. Yeah, he's got some big old, big old titties. I have to say though, you look great in a dress. Oh, thank you. I'm yeah. a little hairy, but you are slightly on the hairier side. Yeah, you like that? Hi, guy. No. You said you like cute anime boys. So probably not. I mean, I can imagine you to be Sekuno. What? You can imagine me to be Sekuno? What does that mean? Like, like I can, I can imagine that that's Saikuno, you know, and. So no, your answer is no. You don't like hairy. Uh, no, guys. no, no. I think okay. Look, I think hairy men are very, very manly. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. There's hey, it's your personal preference. With with liking hairy men. Yeah, liking hairy men or not liking hairy men. I personally don't like hair at all. I, I don't like. You don't it. like hairy women. Definitely not, no. Um, but I don't even like hair on my own body. Well, why not? Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. But I, I just keep it, I guess. People say they like it. I see. Yeah. He shaves. Oh, guys, come on. Shut up, okay? So, Mr. Hassan... What's up? What's all okay, wait, can you can I want I wanna know about your room? What's going on in your room? What's going on in my room? Yeah. This is my living room. Not much is going on. There's a lot of chaos back there right now. But Yeah. It's usually where I have all of my um the stuff that uh my chat sends me, my community sends me. It's all that you know, fan art. I have oh, that Bernie really I have that Bernie post from when I uh when I was uh following Bernie on the campaign trail. Yeah, you know. Where do you where do you imagine yourself in like um, five years? Where do I imagine myself in five years? Uh huh. I don't know. Probably on Twitch still. Yeah, just doing the same thing. M most likely, I don't know. I have no idea. I I, I don't think about things in that way at all. Do like, you live in LA? I do. Yeah. Why? Just wondering. Why are you wondering? Why do you want to hang out? Well, I have to teach you how to pole dance. That's true. Why? Where do you live? LA. Wait, I thought in the video game world you live in. I thought. LA. You've live recreated in... Los Angeles? Mm hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And I need to. Technician needs to get a studio scan of you. Uh huh. How does that work? Pictures. Is that pictures? Okay. What? Oh, not in person. Okay, got it. We just need to get three sixty photos. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, you. <laughs> what? You have to be like you. Got, okay, you're okay with that. Yeah, right? I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I don't have to be naked, right? No. Okay, got it. Nobody wants to see that anyway. <laughs> That's what um, you think. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I saw your P 
pictures on the net. Uh -huh. You you clearly, okay, you're you're clearly showing off something else. What do you mean? Like 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 you know like like you know you can just take up a shirt and then take a photo, right? But then but then there's there's more. What does that mean? Like, like, there's more. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a picture of your, your, your shirtlessness, and then there's just more personality. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay, I'm sure you don't. Yeah, I don't understand what you're referencing. Your dick, dude. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no, there's no naked photos of me like that out there. No. Mm, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know that. I mean, okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Okay. Ask him, like, hold on. Okay, shut up, guys. Stop Are you saying all right? talk. Yeah. Okay. What? I don't know. You just seem a little flustered. I'm not flustered. Do I look flustered? Well, I can't tell. I don't think you have a... I, I I said this yesterday. You don't have a blushing uh, mod on your on your. That's because I. That's because that's because I never flush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Stop spamming cock. Um. Try to ask him to do a Sakuna impression. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that means, dude. Ask him about Yarok. What the hell is that? Yarok. It means penis in Turkish. Wow, my chat's so so mature. Oh yeah. All right. Well, well, Mr. Hassan, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I did. I really yeah. did. And also, yeah. I got I, I I got a. Now I I might have a a three D model of myself, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be fully functional. Oh yeah. Head to toe. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And um huh. Oh, call Brandon. Oh hey, so I have a so technician has a robo fuck buddy Brandon. Uh-huh. And um he's a fan, I think. I'm not sure. He's but, really funny. I I'm a fan of his. I I I, I I heard him. him I I, uh, I I heard him on the phone before, but yeah, please do. I heard him on the phone before and well, first of all, I don't believe he's a real person because he's I think he's a robot. robot. How does he? How do you think he's actually? How do people think he's actually a robot, though? I think I think he's a real. I think he's a robot. He's artificial he's intelligence. No, 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 no. I'm dead serious. He's real, and he's um. Here, let me let me call him up. Hello? Brandon! Hi! You're alive! Um, so I have a son here. Well, yeah, I'm booted up. I'm booted up. <laughs> okay, yeah, up. shut the fuck up. I have I have a son here. What does he mean booted up? He's that? he's a robot. He's just, no, he's trolling. He's not he's not he doesn't need to boot up. He's just being funny. Because he's trying to convince the world that he's a robot. I have I was convinced. There's no way. He's got, got you added you added a uh, good uh humor uh, you you patched him with some good humor. The technician did. Brandon Hassan is a fan of you. He, he's got a good humor mod. <laughs> and I know you're a fan of him. Um do you want Oh my god. Yeah, do you want Oh my god. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, this is okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, Hassan's my hall pass, and your hall pass is Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Why the Lola? No, it's not Lola the Bunny. Oh my god. That's your fetish. No, you it's not. It <laughs> what? You like Lola Bunny from Space Jam? No, you I don't. All her lines in your sleep. No, I do my not. Why did you come you. up with this? Who? Who doesn't though? I mean, I don't blame you. She's a very attractive rabbit. 
Hassan, are you into Lola rabbits? Oh, absolutely. Lola bunny is, is, is excellent. I mean, think about it. So curvy, so perfect. It's a bunny. When I, when I think about Lola bunny, my, my eyes start popping out of its sockets. My chin falls down into the ground. My tongue rolls out of my mouth. Steam starts blowing out of my, my ears. I keep saying, awooga, awooga, uh, uncontrollably. Very formative for me. Very formative for me in my, in my early years. Well, it's more like she's a cartoon. Yes. Okay, well. But she's so much more than that. Do you have anything else? That, do, you want, do you have anything that you want to say to Hassan? Yeah, I do. Um, I just want to say, like, congrats on the mixer contract and then got that money and ran. Like, that was a smart play. Like, you just had to go to mixer for, like, six months. And then when you came back, it was just, like, you blew up again on Twitch. I mean, smart play on his part. I th right. Did you tell right. him I'm ninja? No, I no, I didn't tell him that you're ninja. I said he's a He's a son. A son. You know, right, Hassan? You know who that is, right? Yeah, he's the Fortnite guy. No, no. He does the dance. He did the dance on New Year's Eve. No, that's Ninja. Yeah. Hassan? Hassan is this political commentator thing that's kind of, that sometimes has okay takes. And it's all, you know, mm. the guy that looks like, you know, the guy that has a really small head on Twitch. Yeah, it's the guy with the blue hair. I, I think you might be talking to the wrong person. I don't... I don't know. Brandon's hall pass I, is ninja? I'm confused right now. Is your hall pass ninja? No, my hall pass is Hassan. Right? Okay, ni okay. okay, so ninja is the Fortnite player. Hassan right. is the political commentator. <sighs> I, I, you're saying words and I just don't understand them. I, I, okay, which is the one with the mustache? I think that's, that's the one that was my hall pass. That's Hassan. Okay, and he's the one that like, he, he's the one that like drives Lamborghinis and is like a two-time champion. Yeah, okay, that's the one I like. That's that's Doctor Disrespect. Oh God damn it! Okay, I can't. That's <sighs> think about another big stream. Okay, you're Brandon's really close. glitching. Okay. I'm thinking, um, okay. All right, there's this, uh, okay, there's this other, um, he's brand new, but he like, he like has a digital avatar and uh, it, 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 it says Yep Cock on his shirt all the time and he has pink hair and he's not really my type, but uh, maybe I think that's my hall pass. Who the hell is that? Is that it? I don't know. So I'm asking you. You're the one who knows all these streamers. You're the one who's got people sliding into their DMs left and right. Okay, I don't know who that one is, but all right. They have well, pink hair. Their shirt says chat on it. They're not okay. Classically yeah. Okay. Attractive. What? Yeah, I wouldn't say they're attractive, but it's their personality really makes them shine. Anyway, that was that was Brandon. Um, he's a good guy. He's funny. He is he's funny. A very, he's a very funny dude. <laughs> I like him. All right, Mr. Hassan. This was fun. Was I too awkward? I was so fucking nervous. No, you were great. Really? I was so fucking nervous, dude. Really? Why? Because... Because you're... Um, you're, uh, because you're Hassan and you're a very, uh, I don't know. I was just nervous. Okay. God damn it. What? Okay. Well, you did really well. You, I didn't, I didn't think you were being, I didn't think you were nervous at all. You didn't show okay. it. Also, also because I, because I'm not used to having more than 200 viewers on my stream. Well, I think you had a lot of viewers on your stream this time, and I'm sure you're going to have even more, uh, in the future. I don't really look. I'm 
sure I have like 500 people right now. Ask crumpet question. Wait, what was the crumpet question? Crumpet. Oh, it was a. Uh, it was something about Will Nev. Wait, what was it? I don't remember. No, I already asked him that. I already asked him that, dude. I already asked him that. Um. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Assam, for coming on. I hope you had fun. I had a. I had a great time. And I even got to meet Brandon, which was uh, the cherry on the top. Mm-hmm. Brandon's great. <laughs> he's he's really great. He's uh he's he's not a robot though. He's actually a fucking no no totally. Human. totally. No, he's actually a real fucking human being. So yeah no I. I... <laughs> All right, Mister. It seems like his AI was malfunctioning a little bit, but you know it's. Oh wait! It's I wanted there. to ask you. I wanted to ask you before you went. Before you went, okay. So, um, Technician is creating a, like, a celebrity deathmatch type of game. Mm hmm Where, um, she plans to bring up, like, bring big streamers or any type of streamers on and play, like, and you guys would be, like, mech robots, but inside, inside this game. And you would actually have, like, yourself, like, your screen on, like, the robot's head so you can see, like, your face on them. Uh -huh. And then basically, you're basically going to be controlled by chat, but it's going to be like, for example, if it's you versus Will, um, chat will control like who punches and who like, you know, whatever. And basically, you're, you're trying, you're going against each other. It's like celebrity deathmatch. Does that make sense? I'm such a bad, I'm bad at explaining it. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. Would you be down for to come on for something like that? Um, Sure. Sounds cool. You're so chill. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right. This was wonderful. Right. Bye, Mr. Hassan. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Bye. Okay. That was Code Miko, ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot of fun. That was a, a very interesting experience. Uh, I I uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I hope you guys did as well. Was the band worth it? What band? Just move on. I can't stand anymore. Flexing? What do you mean flexing? I wasn't doing anything, I, dude. Honestly, I am fascinated by. Uh, by by what uh i guess how do i describe it by or now that now that we're no longer streaming uh, and doing a convo like i'm very fascinated by what technician has uh, been able to do like honestly incredible she's so weird that it starts to become hot miko was passive aggressive as fuck no no she wasn't like i've never been um I I'm not really interested in, uh, like, I don't know, I'm, VTubers Man, or whatever has never been, like, that interesting, but... Had get to talk to more girls if he finished DS3K. But, uh, she's really, she, she's really good. I'm ashamed to be a part of this community. Why were you, you so guys nervous? Not like scat, but I'm the scat man, skibba dibby dibby dub 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 skibba dibby dub 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 What? Why? Why do you think I was nervous? It's fucking React Andy time, by the way, boys. So get excited to, for that. Do all girls you flirt with make fun of you for not beating DS3? All of them. Literally all of them. It's terrible. Why were you being such a... Why were you such a coomer? I mean, dude, it's fucking the memes. Like, obviously. Focus. Fuck do you mean? Why was I being such a coomer? I'm freaking flirting with a with a video game character. <clears throat> Hi. I hope that talk was in Turkey too. I got banned from the school in Discord for talking politics. Technician used to have an OnlyFans? Wait, really? No way. 
Want to play Warzone later? No, but I do want to play Left 4 Dead. Nameless King in the marketplace of ideas. Her and Brandon fucking rock. Yeah, Brandon's funny as fuck too. I I thought Brandon might be a fan of E1 when he when he dropped the Lola Bunny reference. That's why I was saying what I was saying about not Left 4 Dead, but Back for Blood. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 2, Electric Boogaloo. It's an okay buddy meme, you fool. Women, you oh, he was making an okay buddy uh, joke? Oh. My bad. It's also an E1 joke. For those of you who don't know, it's, it's a podcast. It's like a... It's like a Choppa adjacent podcast. You are the reason my older brother and I talk every single day while living hundreds of miles apart. Thank you. Did you get very flustered at points, but you did very well. It was excellent overall. I love the Coomer stuff, of course. <laughs> did Code Miko make you shift Fuck. your bit registers too? What? Did you see this? I can't see it. It's NSFW probably. If Hasanabi is so good, then why isn't there a Hasanabi 2? I, well, there's going to be one. There's going to be a Hasanabi 2. Yeah, I was watching, like, while I was doing, you know, makeup. Um, I was watching Miko and Hasan. Guys, Hasan is a coomer. Hasan is big, big... Coomer. He's a huge Coomer. I didn't know that at all. I thought he only talks about politics. Like, I thought he was... He didn't like, you know, those Coomer talks. I thought... Maybe he can make a little bit of a jokes, but not this much. Yo. <laughs> Jesus. No, you were wrong. Oh, oh boy, she was wrong. You're a neo law. You're a neo lib now, apparently. Mask off. Neo libs pretend to be progressive. Anna Kasparian, Benjamin Dixon, Sam Cedar, Emma Vigeland, Jamie Elizabeth, Real Tim Black, Nomiki Kons, Jank Uger, Hassan the Hun, Deep Pac Man, Jacobin, Jacobin Mag. Well, so who's not a who's not a neo lib? Ye. Me and my three Maoist friends. Just only Tulsi is not a neolib, even though, you know, even though Tulsi Gabbard was like the fucking OG. Tulsi Gabbard was like literally the fucking O motherfucking G uh, uh, Joe Biden simp. Okay. Um, that was a lot of fun. I, I hope I hope it wasn't weird. I don't know. I, I just I had a lot of fun. I hope. Uh. Miko had some fun uh, doing that as well. We are going to... Dude, the fact that you said that you like check pickup porn maybe you want to sub permanently. Have you heard about 2 billion stolen from unemployment cards and CI personally has 760 withdrawn from my account? What? Bank of America EDD cards don't have chips so they're extremely vulnerable? What the fuck? No, I did not hear about that. I'll look into it. Um, what it her stream loved it according to the poll she just did okay good you looked kind of bored near the end no i was just uh no YouTube i wasn't bored like uh, October, i and finally i had a i had a great time i thought it was great last month just before you Murican started voting you have shifted my point of view on a lot of topics from the sargon tanks so thanks for being great you had a resting dead inside face thought you didn't have any fun wait what really Anyway, it was weird as hell. What are you talking about? Terminally online Zoomer brain dead tweens are the only ones in here who had any fucking idea that what was even going on. Yeah. You're on Twitch, dumbass. The fuck do you think? Like. 
Pagu. Hello, man. Yeah, the Ottomans fell because they were too good. How the fuck can these dork be so incredibly bad at communicating? She's Asian. Oh God! Like permanently fucking aggro, permanently aggro, annoyed fucking leftists that come in here and like are just like my life is fucking horrible all the goddamn time. I am not allowed to have fun because life is just ass cheeks. So you're not allowed to be entertaining or have fun either. Or basically just as fucking annoying as the the 12 year old zoomers who get mad when you enjoy something and go oh that's cringe god damn bro please just just fucking just you know take a break from from how horrible the world is and and, and try to have fun entertain yourself uh Cool Twitch now we my sub anniversary notification came through. I was gonna say you should have asked her if her and Kelly LeFleur were made in the same factory lol. I thought that Five was super months. entertaining. Her stream is kind of like Space Ghost Coast to Coast and you fit into it well. Yeah. Hassan, I've been subbed for three months. Privilege Please take. wish me a happy 12th yeah, birthday. Yeah, it is a privilege take. It, it is, yeah. Y you got it. Sub for nine months, Andy. Y you, you showed how, you showed how non-privileged you are. Like, it's, I, I find it so, I find it so fucking weird that, like, leftists come in to certain communities and they're like, oh, if you're having fun, that means you're in a position of privilege. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you have, to some degree, privilege to be able to fucking have fun. Naming someone for subbing to you? What are your thoughts about Benjamin Dixon's take on Jimmy Dore? I don't want to do fucking politics. Sometimes it's nice to have fun. Is a privileged take? Yes. A radical leftist pog. Imagine being that man and I'm a fan on tanky. Explain the chat with tankies. Are there a bunch of libs in here calling everything tanky lately? Um. Anyway, let's go. Let's keep going. So we're going to do, we're going to, oh fuck, I got to run an ad real quick. Anne, Anne. Hold on, I, I got to get food too. I'm fucking starving. I have the privilege of being able to eat too. One minute ad right now, and then we're going to invite Johnny Harris into our homes, and we're going to do some reacts. And then after that, after I'm done eating, uh, I am going to play uh, Back for Dead, Left for Dead 2, whatever the fuck it's called, okay? Here's the ad. Here's the video. Actually, no, it doesn't. It borders way Dude, more. Dude, Johnny Harris has been making some real good fucking videos lately, too. I already know what the content of this video is going to be. It's going to talk about how, like, French, uh, like, how the French colonies still very much exploit uh, African nations. And, and they make up a big part of their economy, too. Like, the debtor's prison that they've locked their fucking uh, old colonies to. He, he's been doing, he's been doing some fucking wild shit. Isn't Kamala his aunt? No. More than eight countries. And in fact, its longest border isn't even this one with Belgium or this one with Spain. It's this one way over here with Brazil. What is going on here? I, I learned this on Reddit and it quickly flung me down a giant rabbit hole of oh. some very strange information. I then put a call out on Instagram and asked all of you to tell me what is going on with France and its giant overseas empire looking thing. I got a bunch of responses. So then I did what I always do, which is spent the entire day mapping this. Every single island, every single administrative boundary, every single ocean border. I made an entire behind the scenes, by the way, for my patrons. Thank you, patrons. You guys rock. Yeah, it was a lot. But now I'm on the other side of it and I have some stuff to share with you. By the way, this video is sponsored by Storyblocks, where I get a lot of amazing footage. More on that later. Okay, so this is France. But really, this is only one version of France. 
They call this version of France l'hexagon or the hexagon. It's also called la France métropole or the metropolitan France. It's the mainland. It's the motherland of France. It's the France you probably think of when you think of France here in Europe. But there's another France. It's called France d'Outre-mer or the overseas France. And that one looks like this. This France accounts for almost 20% of all of France's land and a whopping 97% of its ocean territory. Nearly 3 million French citizens live here. This France is peculiar. It includes far-flung tropical islands, remote archipelagos with penguins, and weird-looking uninhabited atolls all around the world. There's lobster fishing and scientific research and nuclear weapons testing and military exercises. And the mind-blowing fact here is that because France actually looks like this, that means that the European Union actually looks like this. I want to show you France's weirdest borders and pieces of land to try to understand why this country that should have decolonized six centuries ago has territory all around the world. All right, so let's go over to the Netherlands. No, 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 not that Netherlands. Let's go this way, over to the Caribbean. Asshole. This is a little island that is split in half between the Netherlands and France. It's the only place where these two countries share a border. The population here, they're French citizens. A few years back, they did vote to become semi-independent from France, but even still, they're French citizens. This is France. Zoom out and you'll see that France isn't alone. This whole neighborhood is full of European colonial holdovers. France has three other island groups in this chain, two of which are basically the exact same as mainland France in their administrative status. And then you get down here to France's longest border, which is in French Guiana, which is a proper part of France and the European Union and the Eurozone. They use the Euro here. But remember where we are, we're in South America. This place was used as a prison colony for France most of the time. A lot of people were sent here for grueling prison sentences. Many died. That's a whole other history, we're not going into it. Okay, so this is French Guiana and the Caribbean. Key part of France, honestly, people just like to vacation here because they speak French and it looks like this. Anyway, let's zoom up north to a teeny tiny island that is a holdover from the old days when France was colonizing North America. This little piece of France is 4,000 kilometers from France Metropole, but it is a few kilometers off the coast of Canada, and it's right smack dab in the middle of Canadian economic waters. France wanted to hold on to this and have it as their own little enclave away from France. And so a few years ago, they fought with Canada in the international courts to try to carve out a little bit of economic Canada. waters for themselves that looked like this. Turns out they ended up only getting this little key-shaped slice of economic waters so that they could have a little passageway into their country from international waters to their little France enclave. And that's what it looks like today. It's a super weird situation. Here on this island, they use the Euro and they speak French, like France French, not Quebec French. It is a very French place, even though it is right smack dab in the middle of Canadian waters. Okay, so the Caribbean and this weird set of islands off of Canada. Now let's get to the wild ones, the ones that were actually the hardest for me to get my head around as I was mapping them. I'm honestly... It was so spicy. Holy fuck. Oh, it's the hot ones. It's the, it's the hottest one. It's way spicier than I thought. I'm dying. I'm honestly surprised, though, that he, like... That he, he's talking about these places are not African colonies. If you zoom all the way down here, close to Antarctica, all of these islands are owned by France. There are people who live on these islands who are French citizens. We'll get to those in a second, but first look at this weird looking block. I know it's a little bit awkward. Thanks, Mercator. Let's look at it a little bit differently here from like an actual bottom up view. This slice of land is claimed by France. A Frenchman arrived here in the 1800s 
and claimed it for France. And they've had people there ever since. That's a literal ice wall. Even in the 1800s, they knew that there was an ice wall. The world is flat. Okay, so France claims this little bit of Antarctica. Zoom up just a little bit and you'll get to all these French islands that have a ton of inhabitants, but they're just not humans. There are more king penguins on these islands than anywhere else in the world. And honestly, looking at photos of these islands it is the last makes dab, me yeah. feel like this is the part of France I want to visit more than any part of France. I mean, look at this place. And the crest for this group of islands, the official crest, is like really cool looking. I mean, it's got lobsters and seals that are like yelling and king penguins. I mean, this place is just a wild freaking dreamland. The only actual people who live on these islands are French military and science personnel. So why did France hold on to these remote islands near Antarctica and these ones here in the Indian Ocean? Well, other than the fact that France is, as our friend CGP Grey notes, the queen of not letting go, these islands provide France with a major presence in the Indian Ocean, military presence, where they can put bases, they can run patrols, they can just have a presence in this important geopolitical part of the world. Here are the You know, like Vietnam. French military activities in the region between 2016 and 2019. You can see how these islands give France immense military presence. To keep Vietnam safe, of course. In the region. Okay, wait, I'm just trying to do like a fun geography explainer. I don't need to get into like the military stuff. Can we just chill out for just one video? Can I just not explain the geopolitics? Sure, but don't forget that these islands are also used to harvest over 16 million euros worth of fish and lobster. Okay, stop. I get it. Military dominance, resource extraction, science stuff. I get it. But wait, while we're here, I also want to mention that during the 60s and 70s, France literally stole hundreds of children from this island, one of their territories, to bring back to France to help boost the declining rural population. Okay, that's actually pretty effed up. Um, yeah. Okay, so zoom to another really remote part of the ocean, this time the Pacific Ocean. So the most remote ocean in the world, and you will see a bunch of teeny tiny islands that are France. They're 14,000 kilometers from France Metropole, which is like a half a planet away. Like They're so remote. And to understand why France wants to hold on to these islands, just look at the water boundaries. The water boundaries of these 118 islands of French Polynesia are 5 million square kilometers. For context, the entire European Union, like the landmass, the area of the whole EU, is 4.4 million square kilometers. So the water boundaries around P French Polynesia are huge. It is a lot of water that belongs to France. This place is home to Bora Bora and Tahiti and just a bunch of really beautiful islands. So maybe I take back my See previous statement. Tiny. This is the part of France I want to visit the most. <laughs> But wait, aren't you forgetting something? Yes, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. French Polynesia is where France tested its nuclear weapons. Almost 200 of them between the 1960s and 1990s, damaging local populations and natural Thanks environments and violating international law. Well yes, of course. Enjoyable. Nukes in the Pacific Ocean damaging irreparably populations and natural resources. I, yes, I, I should have known. I should have known. Sorry. Just trying to do a geography explainer, that's all. All right, let's look at one last piece of overseas France, which is right next to French Polynesia, but let's zoom to the other side of the map so we can see it better. This is New Caledonia, and they were actually on their way out of being a part of France. They were on a 20-year plan to transfer power completely to the people of New Caledonia. But just last month, just like literally a few weeks ago, they voted on this, the people voted, and 53% of them said they wanted to stay with France, while 47% wanted independence. Voters on the Pacific islands of New Caledonia have once again rejected independence from France. France secretly loved this decision because New Caledonia is full of nickel, something that they could mine. The result was welcomed by France's President Emmanuel Macron. There you go with your natural resources again. And honestly, this vote of New Caledonia wanting to stay with France gets to the heart of the tension in all of these colonial holdovers. 
All of these islands are the product of French colonialism. Brutal, greedy, racist colonialism. The people in these countries were conquered and ruled by this ruthless power, who forced them to adopt their language, their government, and their economic structures. Puerto Rico. Structures. And yet here we are, centuries later, in a globalized economy the where the world governmental order and system was invented by these big colonizing powers, the Frances, the Britons of the world. France holds on to all of these islands because of what we just talked about, military interests, expanding their economic Hawaii. waters, scientific research, exploiting natural resources. And so now you have many locals who- How is it colonialism? If they don't want to leave? Great question. Similar to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a little bit different, but for Puerto Rico, for example, um, they are reliant on the American government now. When you, when you starve a territory and you, you uh, force them to, when you basically, like when you basically starve a fucking colony where they cannot survive without you, they have no choice but to say, no, 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 we want to stay with the American government. That's the that's at the heart of the argument between statehood for PR versus um, independence for PR. Live under France's rule, and many want independence, but other like, uh, shit. I'm sorry, I keep pausing, but one thing that we've done to Puerto Rico is basically like you know how I've talked about maybe two months here. Again, you know how I've talked about the IMF before? My thinking. Like, uh, subjugating, uh, developing nations into a lifetime of debt, and then forcing them to spend the money that they've given out, these conditional loans they've given out, um, uh, forcing these countries to spend them in the way that they want them, in the way that, like, Western banks want you to spend it. It's basically the same shit that we do in Puerto Rico. Um, leave them, exploit Puerto Rican uh, natural resources as best as possible, uh, maintain the territory, then uh, force, force them into basically a debtor's prison where the only way that you get money from financial institutions is on a conditional basis where they, where they can apply rigorous austerity measures similar to what the IMF does worldwide in developing nations. Others realize that there are benefits to being attached to the people who invented the rules and who still have the power. That is not an easy tension to resolve. For now, things likely won't change. This is France and will probably be France for a long time. They will keep their sprawling, low-key empire around the world. And France's longest border will continue to be not with Belgium or Spain, but with Brazil. Telling stories like this is a visual puzzle because obviously the mapping and the technical part, but also just being able to bring you to these places and bring myself to these places as I'm researching it is Bring him to your home! I lean on a lot of different resources, and one of the major resources I lean Bring him to your home. This episode okay, this one's gonna be good too. Why American History? Why watch Radical Figures by Second Thought? Let's go! Curiosity Stream. Get free access to Nebula, the ad-free, creator-controlled streaming service, when you sign up for Curiosity Stream at the link below. I'm Jamaica, and a lot of them wish they stayed with the British Empire. It's hard to function as a tiny island nation. Yeah. The problem is when they leave, when, when the, the, uh, when the imperial forces are gone, they leave the country in a worse off position than it already was. When it was in a worse off position than it already is. Hi. Um, there's a lot of, uh, in that, in the, that kind of, um, that kind of removal of a, of a colonial power or, uh, imperial power creates a power vacuum where really, really fucking corrupt people that are oftentimes literally sympathizers or loyalists to the fucking uh, colony itself or uh, is, uh, to the colonial power itself will then turn around and, and take advantage of that destabilization.
decolonization leaves them without proper infrastructure and good governance the least previous empire states can do is build them up it's really sad but they don't even fucking do that that's the point or when they do they do it through exactly the process that i just mentioned which is like enforcing uh, uh like only giving them conditions